Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the Patriots are credited with the greatest Super Bowl comeback in history back in 2017. As we gear up for Super Bowl 58, there's a player off the field looking to make a comeback of its own. Bud Light. Are you? Let's go! Bud Light's return to the Super Bowl follows its social media promo with transgender TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney. This month I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. The March Madness themed post sent America's best selling beer down the drain. A conservative led boycott crushed it like an aluminum can. F Bud Light and f Anheuser Busch. Have a terrific day. The swift backlash had staying power. Videos like this took over social media and Bud Light soon toppled from its top spot, beaten out by Modelo Especial. Bud Light's parent company, Anheuser-Busch, saw revenue drop by more than 13% over several months. Nearly a year later, Bud Light hopes to turn things around during Super Bowl 58, bringing back fan favorite characters and a new face in a humorous spot that's more on brand with past marketing. So bad. Dilly dilly. Right? <laughs> Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the Pit of Misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of Misery! Dilly dilly! dilly, dilly. dilly. Anheuser-Busch is investing in two and a half minutes of airtime across its brands, including 60 seconds on Bud Light alone. AB acknowledged the Super Bowl is advertising's biggest moment and Bud Light's big chance to captivate football fans. Getting in front of 100 million sets of eyes costs a pretty penny. According to Ad Age, 30-second Super Bowl spots are going for around 7 million this year.